Hey everyone, it is Julie's first day of school and I'm going to be showing you her morning routine. She is asleep, so it's time for her to wake up. So Julie's sitting up, she's a little bit more awake, so it's time for her to get out of bed. And the first thing she's going to do is make her bed because it's super messy. So we have a few pillows here. Let's fix her blanket up first. It's so pretty. I love the purple and it has a really lovely flower design. We're also going to add the pillows back onto the bed. We have a cute flower one and then the yellow one too. Julie's sitting in her edge chair with her mini doll and she's going to be listening to some music on her record player and read a book. So we have a few different records to choose from. There's Disco, there's In the Sunshine, In the Rain, and Shake It. I'm going to do In the Sunshine, In the Rain. That's a perfect morning routine song to be listening to. So we'll go ahead and add that to the record. And then she can turn it on when she's ready and she can read one of those books over there. She's just finished reading her Season of Ponies book, so let's put the book back onto the egg chair seat. And now it's time for her to get ready for school, so we're going to be picking out a first day of school outfit. There are so many cute outfits here for Julie to choose from. So we have a disco dress. This is a really cute summertime romper. There's also this cute shirt with a long sleeve top underneath. This is a really cute first day of school outfit. It's a whole floral jumpsuit. We also have this shirt with this vest and then a really cute plain shirt with a rainbow design. I think I'm going to pick this just because I think it's a really good first day of school outfit and it comes with an adorable skirt and tights too. So let's find the rest of the outfit. I think the items are over here. So first off, we have some socks and a belt that definitely doesn't go with the outfit. These tights do, they'll be perfect because the top is purple. So we'll add it just onto the shirt there. These shorts are so much fun, but definitely they don't match the top. Oh, and we also have this skirt here. Let's go with this skirt and then the top and the tights. It's now time for her to get ready in her first day of school outfit in three, two, one. And here we have Julie wearing the school outfit. As you can see, she's not wearing the tights because it is a little bit of a warmer day. So she's just going to be wearing the shoes to complete the outfit. And it's the purple shoes right behind her. So let's add Julie's second shoe on her foot. Julie's hair is super messy, so what we're going to do is we're just going to brush her hair out. She's going to leave her hair down for the first day of school, but I think we might add one of the purple bows that are on the table there, just because it will match the outfit perfectly. Since Julie has her braid on this side of her hair, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the clip on the other side of her head. So we'll just put it there, and we'll just clip it shut like that. And that's so cute. There is a second one there, but I think I'll just add one in her hair. It's time for Julie to have some breakfast. So she has some water here and then a cup already, some butter and jam. So you can probably guess what she's going to have for breakfast. It is going to be some toast and then also some eggs and bacon too. It looks like an amazing breakfast and perfect for the first day of school. Julie's all finished with breakfast. So now it's time for her to pack her first day of school bag. Julie's sitting with her super cute backpack and she has Nutmeg her bunny to help her pack her school bag. But let's go ahead and add some items. So we have a tablet. There is also a notebook and it says always be kind. A folder for all of Julie's papers. There is a tracing paper and a book. And it's all about space because it's about Luciano, which is so awesome. There's also another writing book too, a science textbook, we'll add that in the bag, a pencil case, which is perfect for all of Julie's stationery items, a daily planner, and that's everything that's going in her bag. So we'll close the zipper and then we'll also add her drink bottle just on the side of her bag like that. So her bag is all packed. And let's pack her lunchbox. Her lunchbox is so much fun. There's a really cute flower design on it, but let's see what she has for lunch. So first off, she has a drink that can go over there, a ham and lettuce cheese tomato sandwich, some chips, and a cupcake for a sweet treat. That can go over on the side. Julie's now all ready to go to school. She's so excited about her first day. She has her bag and her lunchbox all packed and ready to go.
Julie's at school. It looks like someone else is already here because there are some bags in the lockers next to her, but she is going to unpack her bag in this locker. Here we have all of Julie's books. We're going to put them there and then also her pencil case as well. The only thing she needs for her first class is a daily planner because it's her homeroom, so it's not an actual class. She'll go to real class later on. And then we'll add the tablet and the backpack in the middle locker. That can go there. And then finally, her lunchbox can go in the bottom locker. School has just started, so Julie is just about to go to homeroom. It was so awesome showing you Julie's first day of school routine. She had a really yummy breakfast. We packed her bag and her lunch as well. So thanks for watching. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you Mirabelle, Isabella, and Louise's travel routine. They have all just arrived on the plane as they're going on a beach vacation. So here we have Mirabelle. She has her backpack and her suitcase. We need to put those away for her so she can sit down in her seat. Mirabelle has packed a lot of items for her vacation in her backpack, so hopefully it fits. The backpack is so pretty though, it's this really bright green color. Now that Mirabelle is sitting down relaxing in her seat, the first thing she's going to do is play a game on the TV. So let's put the screen in the TV for her, and it is themed to a puppy dog game, which sounds like so much fun, and we'll give her the remote so she's able to play the game. Now that Mirabelle is relaxing, let's see what Isabella is up to. Isabella has a lot more bags compared to Louisa and Mirabelle. Isabella has a backpack and a hair and makeup bag. So let's take a look at the hair and makeup bag first. It has a few different items like hair ties, a brush, and some makeup items as well. So we're going to close that and we're going to add it over here. And here we have Isabella's backpack. It is so pretty. I love how pink it is and it's perfect for Isabella. Now that we have put the bags away, Isabella can now relax in her seat. Now that Isabella is sitting in her seat, she is going to watch a movie on the TV. The movie is all about about traveling to Paris and while the movie is on Isabella is going to be reading a magazine as well. Let's see what Louisa is up to. So she has arrived at her seat and she has her suitcase and her travel bag. Louisa has packed a lot of items away for her vacation in her travel bag so we're going to place it over here. Louisa has already opened the section up so we'll just add the bag here and it looks like it fits perfectly. So all we need to do is close it so Louisa can sit down and relax in her seat. Louisa is already sitting down relaxing with her travel neck pillow and she is going to be reading the travel magazine. Louisa is just going to sit and take a look at the magazine and she's just going to have the TV on in the background. The plane is flying in the sky so Louisa wants to take a look at the window to see what's outside. So let's open up the screen for her and you can see it's such a sunny and bright day out and there are some clouds in the sky too. Louisa is thirsty and she wants some juice. There's a whole drink section right next to her. There's so many different flavors to choose from. There's orange juice, apple juice, and pink lemonade. And Louisa is going to choose orange juice. There is a small table next to her seat, so we'll add the juice right next to her. Isabella would like some pink lemonade, so we're going to switch on the light so we're able to see the drinks. The drinks are right next to her as well, which is really great, so she has apple juice or pink lemonade to choose from. Isabella would like pink lemonade, so that is the one we will choose. So we'll move the drink out of the way and we'll place it shut so we can add it on top of the counter. And Louisa would like to change her movie, so I'm going to give her the remote. Mirabelle brought her fidget spinner on the plane. It's a really bright green color and it is so much fun because it's perfectly travel size. So we're going to give her the fidget spinner. She has ordered some snacks and a drink so that should arrive soon. The drink and the snacks have arrived and they fit perfectly in this container. Let's take a look and see what she ordered. So she ordered a milkshake. There is some syrup on it and some whipped cream and she's ordered some snacks as well. So we have some pita chips and some cookies. She might keep the cookies for later because dinner is coming soon, so she'll just have the chips and the milkshake. There is a small table right next to Mirabelle, so we'll add those items there. Louisa is having a wonderful time, but she is just going to go on her phone for a little while to play some games. Isabella is a little bit hungry, so she would like to order a snack off of the menu. So let's take a look and see what there is. So they have breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks. 
So she's going to take a look at the snack section and she would like a fruit bowl and a cookie. And that is written over on the top section of the menu. So once Isabella orders that, that should arrive soon. The food has just arrived. It looks so yummy and it's the perfect snack before dinner. So she has a fruit cup, there are some grapes, strawberries, and some apricot, and there's also a small cookie too. The snacks were delicious, but Isabella is quite tired. There's still a while before dinner arrives, so she is going to take a nap. It has been a very long travel day, so she has her bare neck pillow and she's going to rest in her seat. There is just some time before dinner arrives and Mirabelle is going to play on her tablet and she is playing a game called Sudoku. And while playing Sudoku, Mirabelle wants to listen to some music, so she has her headphones on. I love how the headphones are purple, they're so pretty. And I just changed the TV screen for her, so she's able to change the music on the TV. The food trolley has arrived at Louisa's seat, and it has her dinner. Louisa will be having some grilled chicken, a wrap with some veggies and beans, and a lovely dessert option, and that is a raspberry tart and there's some powdered sugar on the tart too. Louisa has a small table next to her seat, so we're going to place the food next to her. The food trolley has arrived at Isabella's seat with Isabella's dinner. It looks so delicious, so Isabella will be having a hamburger, some cheese, and some carrots as well, and I'll be placing that in front of the TV. Isabella will also be having some sparkling water as her drink, so we'll place that right next to her food. The food trolley has arrived at Mirabelle's seat. Her dinner looks so delicious and she also has some apple juice as well. For dinner, Mirabelle has some tacos, some rice, a salad with tomatoes, and apple juice. Louisa is very tired after a long day, so I think she's going to go to sleep. Let's check to see what it looks like outside. And it looks like it's nighttime, we're traveling over a city, there's so many bright lights. So Louisa is going to get ready to go to sleep. The plane has these travel socks, so I'm just putting them on Louisa, and also I'll put the footrest down for her as well. And the seat also moves down too. Once Louisa is laying down, I'll help her to put an eye mask on so she's able to relax. And all I need to do is place the blanket down for Louisa. Louisa is so tired she has already fallen asleep, so let's take a look and see what Isabella's doing. Isabella has already fallen asleep, she's even left the light on, so let's move the headphones out of the way, there's a headphone holder right at the back, and we'll go ahead and switch off the light for her too. We also have an eye mask for Isabella as well, so I'll go ahead and place that on her so she's able to have a good sleep. Mirabelle is quite tired and she wants to go to bed soon, but there are so many items here, so let's put the remote away, then we also have her tablet, we'll move that out of the way, then we also have the fidget spinner and the tray from dinner, and we also have the apple juice just sitting on top of the tray, and we'll move that out of the way as well. These socks are so adorable for Mirabelle, so one sock has a milk on it and the other sock has a cookie on it, so they're the perfect pair. Mirabelle brought a travel journal with her on her holiday. It's so pretty. I love how it's glittery and purple. There's a pencil case on the side with all of her stationery items, but the book is so interesting. There's so many different sections to fill out, so there's packing. There's also about the plane journey and then the holiday too. Let's see what's inside of the pencil case. We'll open it up. So first off, there's a pencil, which is perfect for writing. And then there's also some stickers and a ruler as well so she can decorate the journal. That's so much fun. Mirabelle decorated and wrote in her journal, but she is so tired she ended up falling asleep. So we'll move her glasses out of the way and we'll also turn the light off too. Louisa was the first to wake up. The food trolley should arrive really soon with some snacks. The food trolley is here and Louisa has opened the table right next to her chair so we can put the food down. So Louisa got some pretzels and an orange juice. And the plane will be landing soon, so just while the plane is landing, she is going to be reading a book and it is the Nancy Drew series. It looks like such a great read and perfect for Louisa. The pretzels and orange juice were really great, but let's move the tray out of the way. It is time for Isabella to wake up. The light is on right next to her because there's some food arriving really soon. When Isabella woke up, flowers appeared everywhere and they're all over her seat everywhere. But let's see what Isabella ordered from the food trolley. Isabella ordered some heart-shaped waffles, which is perfect for her. They look so delicious and she also ordered some orange juice as well. While Isabella is eating the waffles and drinking the orange juice, she'll also be reading a book. This book is called The Secret Garden and it seems like a really great read. 
Isabella finished her waffles and her orange juice, so we'll just move the tray out of the way and she's also finished reading her book too. Mirabelle has just woken up and the food trolley is just about to arrive with some food. Here is the food trolley with some food and a drink. Mirabelle will be having a bagel with cream cheese and some orange juice and we'll just put that right next to her so she's able to enjoy the food. And Mirabelle will be reading the book Wizard of Oz that's perfect for Mirabelle to read. They have all just arrived at their holiday, so it's time to get their bags. So here we have Louise's bag and her suitcase. And let's move Louise's hand out of the way so we're able to close this section shut. And let's see if Isabella and Mirabelle are also getting their bags too. Isabella brought two extra bags, so she needs to get the bags from both sections. So here we have the makeup bag, and that can just sit on top of her suitcase. And then we just need to close this section, and we can get the backpack from the other side. And here we have the backpack. It is so pretty and it matches her suitcase perfectly. So let's get the backpack and we'll move it out of the way so we're able to close this section and we can put it right next to her travel bag and her suitcase. So let's see if Mirabelle has her bags. Mirabelle is just about to get her backpack. She already has her suitcase which is really great so we'll place the backpack right next to the suitcase. Louisa, Isabella and Mirabelle are all ready to go on their vacation. It was so much fun showing you their airplane travel routine. 